So I've talked about quite a few mobile ports of normal console shooters or PC shooters on the channel a few times now, and I was very surprised to find out that they had finally started rolling out a more free to play and light, you know, low spec gamer oriented version of PUBG, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's called PUBG Lite, and it's not PUBG Mobile. It is, like I said, a, basically a low spec version of PUBG free to play with similar battle pass and cosmetic, you know, kind of microtransaction y stuff as compared to PUBG Mobile. And this thing can run on pretty much anything. The minimum system requirements are basically an old, a slightly older uh, Core i3 laptop because it's Windows 7 up to Windows 10. You do need 64 bit, 4 gigs of RAM, and then it just says an Intel Core i3 at 2.4 gigahertz. It doesn't say which generation, but this is fairly old. And then you need DirectX 11 capable Intel HD graphics 4000 with a 4 gigabyte hard drive. And then the recommended requirements are a GeForce GTX 660 or AMD 7870 graphics card and a Core i5 at 2.8 gigahertz with eight gigabytes of RAM. These are fairly low specs for a game like PUBG, which was very hard to run and very hard to optimize for gameplay and things like that, which is really cool to see. But I wanted to take it a step further. I wanted to see how it would run on a CRT. And lo and behold, other than if you leave it in borderless windowed mode, it does actually support 4x3. And so I was playing at 1024 by 768 at 120 hertz on this wonderful silicon graphics CRT. And I just wanted to share what the experience was like because it was pretty bonkers. Now I did have to go ahead and use a VPN to get it set up. And I tried a few different countries. They have a whole list of countries that they have uh, supported. And US and Canada are not supported at the moment. I tried Mexico, Singapore, Thailand, and the United Kingdom and it kept telling me it wasn't available in my region. However, if I use the VPN to connect to Norway, and you do also have to change your time zone to match whatever region that you're connecting to, connecting to Norway was the only way I could play. So I was playing on some fairly high ping, and I didn't really do very well, but I had a lot of fun. And this version has a game mode that I have wanted in PUBG since it came out, which is basically Team Deathmatch. I've wanted, I love PUBG's gun mechanics and the gunplay and the overall like gameplay loop. I'm just not a big fan of the BR mode at all times. Like I want some more in and out action. And so they have a TDM mode in here, which is what I always wanted. And it's free to play and it runs 300 frames per second. They even have dynamic resolution in the menus, which is pretty crazy. It's just awesome. So I just wanted to share this with you and show you how you can play. Link to download it will be in the description below. Make sure you have a VPN. I currently was using uh, private internet access, but they're not a sponsor or anything like that. And most VPNs will work, but you do have to pick, you know, play around with what country you connect to because not all of them work apparently. All right, so what I'm most interested in here is the 4v4 match in squad. This is what has me most excited. All right, so we have all of our weapon choices. Some of these guns I'm not even familiar with at this point. Shoot, shoot, shoot. No. All right, I'll pick up the scar. That's fine. 556. This is running at 300 FPS. <laughs> this is the cap. Right, I'm just going to try to sneak around. Oh, I'm not aiming down sight. I didn't aim down sight. What happened? No! I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played any form of PUBG. Holy cow. All right, and that dude had the freaking M4. That is what I wanted. There we go. Swap this out. Oh, all my attachments. Like, this game has broken me for, like, fast-paced mechanics. Y'all want to peek again? Oh, damn. Whoa! Yeah, sit down. Made some heals really bad. Where's that? There's like a vending machine or something if I make it far enough. Oh, he's back. C. 
it. I'm figuring it out. It takes me a minute to learn a game. But when I do... Once I get this figured out... Oh, man. This is amazing. That is the exact same grenade. Oh, oh, oh. That is the exact same grenade timing mechanic, or er, like graphic from the freaking uh, Call of Duty Mobile. That's hilarious. That S12K is destroying us. How do I heal? I gotta get all the way up there for it. Oh, it heals automatically. Hell yeah. got this. Just gotta hold mid better. Like I said, once I figure out a game, they're in trouble. Right, I'm gonna pick this up. How do I use it? Shit. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me with the spawn kill? They're in our spawn? Why? Why? Why is this allowed? How is this? Oh, I ain't standing. I ain't standing for this. You about to have a hard time. I do not take spawn trapping lightly, my friends. Where'd that guy go? Alright, we'll get him next time. The most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. Damn right. I figured out the strategy now. Ah, so close. He was weak. Yeah, see, S12K has nothing this far away. I see you over there. Oh, maybe it does have something at range. Oh, damn! What? Alright. <laughs> so I'm not the best at this, and the ping is kind of ridiculous. But this is a lot of fun. 
So that's it. PUBG Lite is pretty freaking cool. I am super glad I got a chance to test this out and play with it just because of the novelty and the fun factor and the weirdness. I, again, it will run on pretty much anything. It's designed to be able to run on your laptops and things like that. A lot of these eSport games try to be more optimized so that they will run on everything. So that way you don't need, you know, they want as many people as possible jumping in and playing and competing and buying the microtransactions and things like that. And this reduces the barrier entry significantly, both in terms of cost and what specs you need. I just really hope they actually run out or, you know, roll it out to the US and Canada natively because I feel kind of left out at the moment. But hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education and filthy casual episodes like these. I didn't label it at front, but th that's fine. Uh, go check us out on Flowplane where you get early access to video behind the scenes content, things like that. And I just posted a Call of Duty mobile gameplay commentary, and I'll be doing a couple more over on the gaming channel. So go check that out as well. I'm Maples Fox. I'll see you next time.